Hey everyone, just wanted to take a second to show you how fast you can actually start copying your sites. But first, there's a couple of things that I want you to take note of. First, I want you to take note of the three posts that I have here and the four pages I have up here. One has a picture, I want you to note that. As you can see, the picture's right there. And another page, I actually have a video uploaded via YouTube that I want you to take note of. And there's a couple things I want you to take note of in the dash area that's going to be copied as well, such as the amount of plugins and the amount of members that you have, as, long as, as well as their information. Okay, so first you'll see that there's three plugins installed, one actually being WP Back It Up, and if it goes to users, you'll see that there's five users in here. So take note of those things. Now let me show you the site that we're copying to. The site that we're copying to only has the WP Back It Up installed, no plugins. If you can see, there's only one user. And if you actually look at the site, it looks as if I've just installed it, which I have. So let's go ahead and actually back up this website. Simply hitting Initiate Backup Process and Confirming. I'm going to save the website to my desktop as the backup project. Once I do that, I'm going to go into the website that I actually want to install this copy. And I go to WP Back It Up, simply find where I've saved that copy, and hit Initiate Restore Process and confirm that I do want to do so. Okay, so once I've restored successfully, I'm going to notice a couple of things. One, when I go to my site, it looks like the other site. Also, when I go into the dashboard area, I have my plugins, I have my users, and again, visiting the site, I have my picture and my video, just as I did in the other site. So as you can see, using WP Backup is not only simple, but it's effective and fast.